Hi, my name is Glassy, and for this project, I have chosen to talk about one of the biggest American history, which is how America got it got its independence. And later on, I would like to relate it to how the Philippines, my home country, got its independence too, and how they are similar. And um, let me talk about six items which I've learned about the American history. And the first one is there were 13 American colonists who had long been subject to British colonial, colonial rule. And then over time, tensions grew due to issues such as taxation without representation, restrictions on trade, and British interference in colonial governance. And then the second one is um, uh, the, the armed conflict broke out broke out between the colonial militia and British forces, and this formed the Continental Congress, which gradually assumed control over the war effort. And the third one is the Declaration of American Independence, which happened on July 4, 1776, where they adopted the Declaration of Independence, which proclaimed the colonists' independence from British rule, asserting the natural rights of their life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But that, the war didn't end, and that brings me to my fourth item, which um, the war and alliance. So the Revolutionary War continued for several more years, and the colonies received crucial support from foreign allies, most notably France, which provided military assistance, financial aid, and naval support. And then the fifth one is the Treaty of Paris in 1783. <clears throat> it formally ended the Revolutionary War and recognized the independence of the United States. And then lastly is the formation of a new nation. And this established a system of governance. And this culminated in the drafting and ratification of the U.S. Constitution in 1787, which created a federal republic with a system of checks and balances. So how is it similar to how Philippines got its independence? Um, first is both United States and Philippines were former colonies of European, European powers. So for United States, it's Great Britain, Britain, and then for Philippines, it was a colony of Spain. And then the second one is the revolutionary movements. So both United States and Philippines experienced revolutionary movements while trying to gain its independence. And then the third one is the external assistance where both countries receive external assistance in order to gain our independence. So in the case of United States, I mentioned earlier, is um, France. And while in the case of uh, Philippines, um, they were aided by the Americans, uh, uh, United States, which led to the Spanish-American War and eventual transfer of Philippines from Spanish to American control. And then the fourth one is the transition to new forms of governance. And both of the, the countries, after gaining its independence, they face challenges in establishing stable governance structures. And then lastly is despite achieving independence, both countries face ongoing challenges related to governance, identity, and socioeconomic development. So while we are different in our um, history of independence. So I would like to emphasize that both countries has unique historical context and experiences. And the paths to independence and challenges faced along the way were shaped by many factors specific to each nation. And wh what I like about this is why I talk about this because I like how I learned from the acculturation class on respecting differences in respecting similarities as well. And I like that the fact that both America and um, the Philippines were 
like experiencing a lot of freedom now because of the countries or the people who helped them before. And I like how we both respect each other's culture and knowing the background of our history makes me appreciate more our differences and makes me appreciate more my American friends, my classmates, and everyone who is here in America. Like, um, and it makes me become more grateful of the things that they did for my country. And I think that's all for my presentation. Thank you.